Hi and welcome again with part 11 of ASP.NET Core with the Flutter. Uh, let me just recap what we have done in the previous video. Uh, let's move to our Visual Studio Code and see what we have there. So in a previous video we have done the UI, student UI, how to, how to add that student. Uh, we have designed the UI. Uh, but today before I write the the code for the posting in the API service I want to add something in the student list I want to add the floating uh, button when I press that button it will open for me that UI to add a new student uh, so uh, first things is we need to go to the student list in this under the scaffold uh, we need to add something they call it floating action button so this is floating action button uh, let's create a method as we said at the beginning we need to always to leave our code uh, clean as much as we can so floating uh, button okay we don't need to pass anything so let's copy this name and we'll go to write the uh, action for that button so let's go to the button down there mm, and this one nice so it will be widget so we'll call it this name so this widget what will return for us it should return the floating yeah floating action button so inside it what we write here I need to semicolon here I don't want to forget it so uh, we have the action for that on the press so when you press on that one what will happen that's right the action so when I press on it I need you to to I need this code to open the uh, student UI to add the student from there or show the details same time that UI as we agreed to that before so I have already before code to, uh, to navigate to navigate to student UI so I can just copy this controller as this method name so but here what I want to pass because what I'm doing here in the normal navigating I need student so when I need to go to that uh, UI I show details if I have data if I don't have data that's me new student so what I will do here I will pass student again same time uh, same these things here but this student as object I will send uh, let's say NT sorry NT name first name and last name and I will send uh, one as the gender uh, easy easy so and that floating we can I think we can see here what's happening I think I'm still syncing with the code here uh, let's see if something happening here action yeah this one here now we see it so but I think it's better to have icon we can put uh, icon so let's go under this one we can say child that child we can put icon I think we have good library for icon we don't need any external library you can use and uh, if you like so here what we need we need to add let's say person I think we have here something if you hover on it, it should show you something why no I don't know okay sometimes it's showing ah yeah that's it so now we can see the icon yes that's nice so if I press now the action will take me to the student UI that's fantastic so let's try to add something I think it's better to use your if you have mobile better than the emulator unless it's too heavy on the laptop or on your PC ah oh, what happened again let's say I 
Ah, but we forget. Now, now just we open it. We cannot save. So oh, forget the saving. So now what you need to do, the second step is to write the uh, save the method to save the or for posting. So what you need to do here, we need to go to the API service. So first things we need to write the post method for saving for saving so it will be this one a bit complicated but try to do it easy as much as we can so it will be static future so this future what i need to return with this i need it to be pool it's added it or not added it we'll see how it will post uh, student you can return the future but i want to just add this pool to to get true or false so what i'm receiving i'm receiving a student to here so student not student uh, okay student so to be a sync okay uh, first things is I need to map this student I'll call it my student uh, stu I'm this I'm talking about this student now if I copy it from here that uh, will to be to map it should show something but giving us here or here, I think it's this isn't it's not included here. Where is it? So just we need to add the student or import it only. I don't know if I can import. Yeah, that's great. So here, if I press two, map. Okay. So I map my student. What's mean this one? I convert it to be as a JSON. Okay. I will use now again var student. I want to convert to be the student body equal JSON dot oh, I think I need to include the oh, let, let's uh, continue on this one code I need to send my student yeah okay that's great mm, let's say quick fix again what we have here yeah we need to import the dart convert but we have it here why they have two names here let's remove this one okay so the second step is to write the connection uh, so what we'll do we'll call it uh, response equal oh wait because it, it is uh, a sync so we'll use http dot same what we have used with the get but now it will be uh, HTTP dot post so the normal post they need URL we can use same URL because that depends on our API how we wrote it so it will be exactly same the URL we have written in the, in the previous uh, video for the get we can use same so the next things here they need okay let me hover on the post to see what they need so they need the URL, dynamic URL. They need mapping string string header. I will show you what's mean header and the body. Body it should be in uh, dynamic body. So this body is already we have it. And just we need something the header. Header I have already written small uh, things about it. Actually it took for me a while to uh, to do this one. So header it's it just similar to the postman. What we write in the header of the postman. We need to see our data is JSON and JSON application to be accepted. That's exactly what we have to write in the in uh, postman to send any 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 uh, string. So it will be header here. So after that I can send my body. Okay. Just write the body. So it should be dynamic as we said. It will be here my uh, student body. student body that's right so this respond here normally if it's correct they will send us uh, 200 code 200 if something happened they will send 400 or depend on this on the what the the code they will send but what we need is to be 200 if it's 200 that's mean our 
inserting or our posting has been successfully done so that's what uh, I need to do so now we get our value if this uh, post successful or no depend on, on, on the action so they will return us the code so what what I need from this uh, response here uh, I need just the code or uh, the status code so what I will do here I will say future uh, that value so what this value what I, I want to put in this value or to send it back to the to my code so I will say it response dot so I need to take the status code so which said if the code is 200 that's mean true okay or if it's not 200 or anything 401 or, or anything I'd, currently we don't care about it and just we care about 200 so it will be false that's it okay uh, I think we can write something now in the yeah let's let's move to the student uh, add student and write the code to add the student I think to 11 minutes let's let's continue again a bit more on that one so let's go to the student and this student now what we will do here as you remember before we have uh, written already something about the button when you press on that button it should save this one so but that we don't have any action for that one now we can write same we can write method that method to save the value and send it to and post it so the action on on a press will be anonymous uh, function so one I'm going to send here why this one again happen here okay let's see so I don't need it okay uh, let's write let's say save student so uh, let's do like that I don't want to send anything here you will see how we'll do that one or how how what will happen there so if we go to same to the button of the this class here I will say void save student async so here what I will say I will say var save uh, save response will be await so I will call my API service dot what I want to see from there I need the post but this post need data here what is it that this data it's actually came automatically it's a student so I took the student here what I already uh, this one so this one it came when I when, when I press on the student from the list it will take the first name and post name button and the controller to display it but I need same time I need to read this one so if you remember before we have one of them we said on change so on change what I will say here I will say update uh, student or update uh, first name uh, yeah just update first name okay and same I need on change well let's try this one after that we're back to the to just make you understand what we are doing so this one will be the first name so let's back here I will say again void update first name so what I need here I said student this is student dot first name will be I think we call it uh, first name controller that text so on change when anything's happened changing there call the student take the value and put it on the student I need to copy same this one for uh, last name but here I need same last name I need the last name too last name controller so we have this both methods here so let me just put that one same for the the student name 
and student last name. We have it on the okay, this file last name too. That's great. On change integrate method and put it here. Let me just finish this semicolon here. So on change, they said you have value. Yeah. I think we can write it like this. I think we need to say, let me cut this one. Z, Z. Yes. So I think here we have, because we have value. So on change, what will happen? So we hold the value. It will be, not will be similar to the last way. So it will be like this. We'll take the value and send it to this method. Uh, should do same. We need to pass the value to here. So that and the button down same. We need to uh, change. I think to there. So here they said you don't have. So let me just go down, 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 down. Uh, how? So we are reading the controller. We don't need to pass any value. That's correct. Yeah, what we are doing. So just remove this one from here. We don't need to pass any value. So let me just do it here same. What you wanna do? Value. Sorry. Value. That's it. So if we save now and we go to our save. So now we are ten, well now we are fine. Everything is correct and the data is stored. So that's what we need. So uh, after that we can say depend on the response so as you remember there we sent true or false if this one true i need you to go to the let's suppose to uh, uh back to the uh, list student list so let's say here save if the save response is equal true so i need to you i need this action to go to uh, to navigate to or to back to the uh, student list. So we have the context. After the context, we can say true. Or, um, or what we can do? We can do. Uh, let's say now uh, null. No, I don't want to do anything. After that, I'll show you what we can do there. Uh, not necessary. We can leave it like this now. So just I want to test it. I want to see what's happening. It's working or no. And I wish it's work. So let's go there now. Let's say test. Test. I'll leave this one same. Okay, TT. Save. Yes, it's working. Fantastic. If I press, it will come one more time. No. Okay. TT, TT updating yeah that's correct so i'll show you that's what mean why nothing came so uh now we are fine i think we finish the editing let me finish this video i'm back to you in the next video